Megan and today I'm here with my third and final Easter video this year but I'm actually really excited for it because I feel like I saved the best one for last and I have more than one Easter idea for you actually. I have four in this video including some Easter supplies, a treat, and a quick Easter activity for you. So I hope by the time you're finished watching this video you'll be prepared for Easter next week and without further ado let's just go ahead and begin. So the very first thing I'm going to be teaching you how to make today are these super adorable washi tape cups and all you will need for these are some clear cups and you want to make sure they're smooth as well and then of course you'll need washi tape. So the first design I'm going to teach you how to make is this sort of V pattern and it's super easy so you're just going to start by pulling out your washi tape and then cut it at an angle and place this at the rim of your cup and pull it down diagonally. And I'm also smoothing it down with my thumb as I go. When I reach the end I'm going to cut it and then fold it over at the bottom and now I'm going to do this with another color but you can do this with as many colors as you would like or you can even do this with only one color if you would like so yeah that is it for the V pattern but if you would like some more design ideas I also did a sort of diagonal one and a X pattern but yeah you can get super creative on this part and I may or may not have played cup stacking games with these cups it was just too tempting um, but now moving on to these adorable napkin care bundles and they're actually a lot easier than you might think to make so of course the only things you'll need are some orange napkins and some green silverware and so I'm just going to start by opening up my napkin and then folding over the bottom right corner upwards like so and then I'm going to take my knife and place that on the top left corner of my napkin and then on top of that I'm placing my spoon and then my fork so I'm going to hold down that little silverware pile with my left hand while I fold over the rest of the napkin and then roll the whole entire thing upwards till I reach the center crease of the napkin and it should sort of form a cone shape so yeah once you reach the center you're going to pick up the whole entire thing and continue folding over the napkin and then when you reach the end if you have a little flap left over you can go ahead and tuck that in to the pocket you created by the way you folded the napkin and then that is literally it so now moving on to the third DIY this is actually my favorite one probably because I can eat it um, but that is these flower pretzels bites and they're super adorable so all you will need for them are some square pretzels some Easter M&Ms and lastly Hershey Kisses so I'm just going to start by placing a napkin over a microwave safe plate and then I'm gonna place a couple of pretzels on that plate and I did nine but you can do as many as you like I just felt like nine was a good amount to work with at one time so once you have your pretzels on there you're going to place one Hershey kiss on each pretzel but actually later on I actually realized that placing half a Hershey kiss worked out better um, just because I felt like half Hershey Kiss was a better amount of chocolate to work with at one time. But yeah, once you have that, you're going to place this in the microwave until the chocolate is melted. And for me, that was about 80 seconds, but I would recommend starting at 50 seconds because obviously every microwave will be a little different. But once you take it out and the chocolate is all melted, you're going to place one M&M in the center firmly until you feel the pretzel. And then you're going to place six other M&Ms around that M&M, and then it should well that will make it look like a flower obviously and then you're just going to let this cool until the chocolate is completely hardened and then you are done so now onto the quick Easter egg hunt variation you're basically just going to hide your eggs like you normally would and this part is pretty self-explanatory but now for the variation part you're going to wait till it's dark outside and give everyone a flashlight and this is super fun and you can just get flashlights from the Dollar Tree or you can even use like your phone or a tablet or anything like that so yeah it's really easy and if you would like some quick candy ideas um, some of my favorites are these Warhead sour jelly beans and they're so yummy and also I love these Whopper Robin eggs and yeah I'm a little too addicted to them but yeah those are just some quick candies that I would recommend you try out Okay, so I really hope you all enjoyed that video, and if you did, please be sure to let me know by pressing the thumbs up button, and if you would like to subscribe, the link will be in the description box. So yeah, I love you all so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!